When you meet the love of your life, you hope for decades together. Tonight, one Tulsa woman's frustrating search for answers when her husband suddenly changed. Very, very, very intelligent. Uh, I thought when I met him, that was one of the things that impressed me most about him. Becky met Bill Bowles while raising her teenage son. Bill has an incredible family. I was a single parent with a 15 year old and why he married me, I do not know. But the 15 year old son. They fell in love and married. Their joy lasting more than 20 years until suddenly Bill wasn't the same. At 69, words became a challenge. We thought, it sounds so silly now and I think he back on it, but thought it was normal pressure hydrocephalus, uh, which is some swelling in the brain. The test said no. The neurologist thought it was benign proximal positional vertigo. It wasn't that either. And he finally got the diagnosis of vascular dementia. Dementia is actually not a disease by itself. It's more of an umbrella term uh, that's a set of symptoms. Mike Beckstead is an associate with the Aging and Metabolism Research Program at the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation, OMRF. He says dementia is any change in mental ability that affects your everyday life, while Alzheimer's is a specific disease with a specific diagnosis. If you were to actually look into the brain of somebody with Alzheimer's disease, you'd see a very specific um, set of symptoms, um, protein aggregates collecting in certain parts of the brain, for instance, that are known to cause damage. Becky would hear multiple diagnoses over the years of Bill's decline, including Alzheimer's. When he became aggressive, she was forced to place him in a memory unit last January. There, a neuropsychiatrist ran another round of tests that revealed Bill doesn't have Alzheimer's after all. Instead, it's a rare illness called frontotemporal dementia. Only about 50 or 60,000 in the country have frontotemporal dementia. Today, the home they shared for nearly 29 years is a quiet one with meals made for one. Yet it's her haven, especially the garden they tended together. Doesn't this bring you a lot of peace? It does, it does because I can just see Bill sitting here. And if you're wondering how she feels about all the different diagnoses from different doctors, she'll tell you she's simply grateful to know they can now follow the right treatment. How does this happen? But. I know how it happened because every single type of dementia out there is different. Now there are warning signs to watch for when a loved one starts having difficulty with some of life's basics, you know, speech time directions. And tonight after the Olympics, we'll tell you more of Becky and Bill's story, including help and support that's available for the caregivers. And I do want to add, you know, recently Bill's health took a turn for the worse. And he passed away on Monday. Oh, wow. Mm, really yes. heartbreaking for her. Very sorry to hear. Our condolences, yeah. obviously, to their family.